What is up, Gamer Army? Welcome back to Psycho Gamer. I am your host, Aubrey, and today I am proud to bring to you one more leak that has just recently leaked. <laughs> so that's really all I could really say. Looking around the Arcade 1UP forums, just today I was able to actually see a new game that has been leaked out that is sometime in the near future. That is going to be Aliens vs. Predator. So what are we going to talk about today? Obviously, it's going to be Aliens vs. Predator. We have a couple pictures as well as a game list and a couple little features that are going to actually be on the cabinet. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe, guys. Stay tuned. We are going to be talking about Aliens vs. Predator right after this. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back once again, guys. I'm glad to be able to do a video for you guys because this is one little title. A lot of people have actually been asking, hey, John D, Arcade 1UP, are we going to get a release of Aliens vs. Predator? I've seen it on a number of forums, and it looks like it is actually going to be happening. When is it going to be happening? Well, as far as we can tell from the couple little slides that... Are released which are a little blurry i'm going to let you know that because i think they were probably really small screenshots and they were just kind of blown up but it is looking like next year in 2024 we are going to be looking at an aliens versus predator cabinet so there's a lot of really cool features that we are going to be familiar with obviously with the cabinets that are currently on the market uh, it is looking like it is going to be a deluxe cabinet, so as they should be pretty much going forward, the risers should be a thing of the past with upcoming and future titles from Arcade 1UP. So that is actually going to be nice to really see. We're going to switch over into my computer real quick so we can take a look at these two little screenshots talking about the game as well as the actual games that are tentatively set to actually come on the cabinet. All right, as you can see, these are the two little screenshots that came out. Now, I did find them on the Facebook forums for Arcade 1UP in terms of the fan pages. So just kind of keep in mind, that's where I found them. I didn't find them on any other site other than literally that. So over here on the left side here, new for 2024. So I'm going to try to read these as best as I can. It is going to have Wi-Fi with leaderboards, has 10 arcade games on there. So that's a far cry from that Atari title that just recently came out that has a whole bunch of Atari 2600 games on it. It is officially licensed. Obviously, I would hope so. It has a lit marquee, so backlit marquee, so it lights up right there. That's actually a pretty big marquee right there. This actually screaming Street Fighter Big Blue here in terms of the actual layout and design from what I can see here. It's going to have a 17-inch monitor, so that's good. Hopefully they have the really, really nice monitors. It is three-player control deck. It's going to have 3D coin doors printed out for the actual machine itself, as you can see right here. So yeah, this really does look like the big blue cabinet for Street Fighter. Uh, what games are going to be included from what we can see on this screenshot? Alien vs. Predator. It is going to have Strider. Capcom Sports Club. Final Fight. Captain Commando. Pro Gear. You got Ghosts and Goblins. Ghouls and Ghosts. Armored Warriors. And the King of Dragons. So as far as I can tell right now, these are the only bits of information that we actually have for this particular cabinet title. Now, it is a 30th anniversary edition, as it shows right here. A couple things that I can see, it looks like they have stereo speakers pointing right at your face, so they aren't going to be hidden very well, which, personally, with some of these cabinets, if they're built decently, I wouldn't expect them to be anything less than literally right in your face, because these games, you want to have really, really good audio with them. So... This is pretty much all the information that we've got right now, guys. So if we get more information in the near future, we are going to go ahead and present this information for you. So hopefully you find 
this new leak in Lightning and hopeful for other titles that are actually coming out in the future that we may or may not know of. Not every game can be a Pac-Man. Not every game can be a Street Fighter. Thankfully, we are getting something new and something fresh, other than, obviously, Time Crisis, because that was probably one of the nicest, freshest titles that have actually come out in a couple years. That's a little more unique than just your typical fighting game or a driving game. That's going to do it for the video today, guys. I know it's been a little bit since I've done a video for you guys. Just life. Just been working my tail off. A uh, couple of different jobs. Still working my two jobs. And watching the world kind of go a little bit crazy in terms of politics and wars and things like that as well. But we do have our games that can kind of keep us occupied. Whether it is our retro games, whether it's our current games, whether it's PC games. I've been playing Starfield. Do I have as many hours into Starfield as some other people? No, I don't have two and 300 hours into the game. Realistically, I have about somewhere between 30 and 35 hours. I've barely even touched the main mission for the actual game itself. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get more time to do more videos. But if I don't, I really do apologize. I do appreciate all of you guys that do come and still support the site. Um, unfortunately, life is really getting me. Now, as you can tell, I've not really done a lot with the actual room because I really haven't had the time or the funding to put things up on the wall and decorate it like I possibly could. But what do you guys think I could put on the back wall there? Do you think maybe I should put some of my autographs that I had there up before? Do you think I should just make the whole wall a different color and maybe try to do a couple things, small pictures here and there? Or maybe I put a plant back there. One thing you may notice over my right shoulder, I do have a nice new big hamster cage. Unfortunately, my previous hamster that I had came home from work one day and she died. And I ended up having to bury her in the backyard. So... Hashtag dead hamsters. So unfortunately, it was kind of sad because we'd been so attached to the little girl there. Now this one, she is nice. She actually lets us pick her up and doesn't try to rip our hands off. So we've been getting it where she can get in my hands a little bit by a little bit. Her name is Heidi, just in case any of you were wondering what the hamster's actual name was. So... I appreciate you guys coming in once again to check out the channel and watch my ramblings. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe as always, guys. And stay tuned for the next episode of Psycho Gamer. Game on.